what's going on welcome back to another boom beach video we got our one boat of raymakers and we're gonna see if we can take out war factory we get five shots at this so i think they should be able to do it we also have second wind with us and i think that should help out tons but we're gonna be taking the long way today and just kind of pathing as we go in my last video i was doing all rainmakers and i kind of asked you guys what strats you've been using rainmakers with in hopes that i could get some good ideas and the only thing that was recommended was i try smoky rainmakers what have i done with myself i've done too many smoky strats maybe in the next video we'll do it but we're gonna push that idea for now if you want to see it make sure you guys drop a like if we get to 250 likes i'll try out smoky rainmakers but i know that uh, it's not gonna work out as well as we're hoping. But uh, Raymakers still do a lot of damage. And this first attack, it's gonna be pretty boring. There's a lot of filler buildings we can get. Um, and that means that we have some energy to spend. So what are we gonna want to target with the energy? I think first and foremost, I'm gonna end up barding down this Doom Cannon. So we're gonna go two barrages, three artillery, see where that puts us. Not very close to taking it out because we know War Factory um, they got a lot of health on their hands. Gearheart comes with a lot of building health, and we just gotta make sure, um, that we have the energy to destroy it. We didn't even take it out! Are you kidding me? I thought we were gonna take it out. We're gonna use a box of critters. Save, save that. I think a box of critters can take it out. I think, I think, I think, I think. Okay, that was much closer than it needed to be. Next we want to focus on some splashed damage. Now, I want to go for those, but I think we're gonna start out by taking out these rocket launchers, because based on the path I'm drawing up in my head right now, we're gonna wanna collapse on this side of the HQ, and that could, um, I, those rocket launchers could be problematic, so will those, but maybe in one of the attacks, we'll come up this way and take them out the organic way, but I don't really see us um, taking out, you know what, maybe going from the left would be better. Um, we've already committed an attack to this side, so I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna stick with going, going this way, but yeah, I think definitely going to the left would have been a lot better. Then we wouldn't have had to worry about the Doom Cannon. Um, but that's what happens when you don't prepare for an attack. You know the Boom Beach slogan, come with a plan or leave in defeat. Even if I did come with a plan, we leave in defeat probably once or twice with this. But um, yeah, going this way, I don't even think it's the safe option. We shall see. But uh, they, we do outrange many of these defenses. The question is, will the Rainmakers step out of the range? Or, or step um, up a little too far to the sniper towers targeting a defense behind. That is where you worry, but um, truly they do arrange the sniper towers. It's just a question of which building are they going to target. Anyway, we have enough for a barrage, and we are going to get those rocket launchers close, but we will not take them out this attack. A minute left, just under a minute left with this attack, and we haven't made much progress at all. Um, I guess we have taken out a handful of buildings, but uh, I think I can avoid going further to the left. We're going to flare to the right here, get them positioned so we can just keep working this way because we just want to scoot them um, above and beyond right here. The question is, what are the CMOS range? Will they, uh, do they outrange? Simos, because Simos are they they could probably one or two shot my rainmakers now we have second wind but Simos are just too good 13 seconds left in the attack why i'm not going to get the energy for an artillery or anything so we're going to throw a box of critters in hope that that gets it to around one artillery for um next attack when we go to take out the rocket launchers a decent first attack on the uh reward side um, it looks like we still have three thresholds to go. Is it really worth the extra thresholds? Maybe, maybe not, but this is this is just purely for the fun. Let's go ahead, get our troops down, and we'll once again get them flared to the right, and periodically we'll just have to keep flaring them around. But the Rainmakers, they are quite slow. They take their time. Um, they're still broken, but yeah, they, they do take their time. Anyway, um... Another question I have 
is will that laser beam be in range? I think we can keep them out of the range of the laser beam through precise flares. You know, I could be underestimating the range of the rocket launchers. I might be able to avoid them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on my GBE for now. In fact, the GBE. Could we spend that on just taking out the HQ? I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, in hopes of speeding this up, we're going to pop three second wins and get a bunch of riflemen to help hurry up the process. The, another question I have, do the Rainmakers, do their bullets take out the own troops? I know they take out critters, they take out mines, but would they take out the riflemen? I think that was a mistake because now if we lose a Rainmaker somehow, um, Kavan will be dead because he is now stepped up, healing up the, the dead of the riflemen. I pop the second wins and it is going much quicker. So we're going to keep doing that. Nope, so speeding it up. And now, wow, we are taking out this whole side, getting a huge energy return. This was a great idea. I should have done that in the last attack. Well, the last attack we were having to take out the energy. Um, once this attack's over, we have two minutes. I wish I could... I wish I could click and see the range mid-battle, but that's what happens once again when you don't come with a plan, when you don't scout out bases. I don't scout out bases. Are you kidding me? All right, we're going to have to go ahead and get our Rainmakers repositioned here. We're going to get them flared to the top, and we will be able to determine if those rocket launchers will be an issue. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and speed it up. I, I don't know how this is speeding it up. We're going to we're going to barrage these Simos right here. I think yeah, that that got them down. I don't want to say very low, but that's going to help us out uh, to take out these Simos quicker. We're going to go ahead and get an artillery uh, that did practically nothing, but it's an artillery against War Factory. What's it going to do? Anyway, now I think we'll be able to test if we can stay out of range of those rocket launchers. The, the laser beam and also the CMOS here. Um, so they, I'm gonna practice flare them. I don't know where the edge of the map is. We'll find it out here next building we get. Um, so we got the flare. We're gonna flare them right here. Will that be in range of the CMO? I think I think they can outrange the CMOS. I flared them way too close right there. Let's get them back. So the rocket launchers will be an issue. We can spend some shock bombs. You know, shock them. Get rid of them. Um, but now I'm wishing I used that energy to take out the rocket launchers because then we wouldn't have to worry about it. And this, the Simos have no chance against these Rainmakers. That, that is absurd distance. I knew I flared them way too close. Anyway, we should be able to take out at least two of the Simos. Um, that is clutch. The rocket launcher just out of range. So we are going to be able to get a couple extra buildings. It is unfortunate that we did lose the one Rainmaker. And our second wind is so high energy costing right now because I spawned all the riflemen. I don't think we're going to get to 68. But we might, we might get an extra artillery here, which will help us out tons. Am I right? Just kidding. I guess an artillery is still an artillery. So we, we might be able to get some good damage. Let's go. Um, deploy it right there Get the Simo a little bit low. I guess we probably should have put it on the rocket launchers, but now We have a decision um, So we're gonna we're gonna reach for Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do all of the oh That's a mistake. All right, so now we just got to make sure we don't deploy all of our rainmakers It might happen. We just have to stay focused. Anyway that rocket launcher range. Yeah, we're gonna I can't see the edge of the map. I can't see the edge of the map in scouting here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to take we're gonna have to take care of these rocket launchers. At least the one. Um, we should have the energy to do it. Anyway, let's go ahead here. Let's uh, let's go and deploy our rainmaker. We'll get our. Uh, I almost said private bullet. That's no bullet. That's a doctor. I'm sorry for insulting you. You are much smarter than private bullet. Are you better than Private Bullet as a hero? Still up for debate. Definitely not. Bullet is, is super broken. Anyway, we're going to focus this rocket launcher right here. We're going to throw two barrages and three artilleries. Actually, we're just going to do two. And we took out that rocket launcher. I think I might be safe now. So, the edge of the map, that is crazy right there. That might be a bit too close. We're going to flare back just a hair. Because I think that Simo 
might be in range. But once we collapse, I think we're good. That rocket launcher, it is not seeing my Rainmakers. You love to see it, but that Simo is definitely... It turned. Oh, it took out a Rainmaker. That stinks. We're going to shock it. We're going to respawn a Rainmaker with second wind here. And we should be good to take out that Simo. Down goes that final threat. And now we just have some Riflemen right there. So we're going to spawn a ton. We're going to shock right here and over here. And our Riflemen should be able to get a little bit of work done, I guess. But what really matters is we have the Rainmakers. They are back. Oh, they are taken out. That looked like they were taking out the Riflemen. That's not cool, Rainmakers. Come on, come on. You I love you, but that's still unacceptable. And will that be in range of the rocket launcher? It's turning. It's turning. No. No, no. Okay, it's going for... It's going for... Uh, it was going for Dr. Kavan there. Is that rocket launcher in range? I got a bad feeling it is. Ooh, is it just paused? No, it is not in range. However, we did lose another Rainmaker. Oh, that's tragic. So we have one Rainmaker locked on the HQ. This is going to be... This is going to be a while. Where is this Rainmaker turned? Are you kidding me? The flare ran out, so you switch buildings? I don't like that, Rainmaker. Now you're going for the Simo. Oh my gosh. All right, I guess um, because I didn't take care of the rock launcher and your buddy died. Actually, both of the, the, the Rainmakers died. Uh, do you feel a little slighted by me? I guess in these situations, we have extra energy for a flare, so... We'll just deploy the flare and hope for the best. Come on, Rainmakers. You got this. Right? Why am I using you in the plural? I only see one of you, and you are a ghost of a Rainmaker. Maybe I should have saved that energy for another flare because that flare is going to run out with, like, a minute some remaining, and then our, our, our Rainmakers are just going to... Our Rainmaker is just going to turn, and it's not going to be good. Come on, let's see. Let's see. Does it happen? It does! Why are you so interested in the SEMO? Go for the HQ. Alright, they they are getting on my nerves a bit. But the good news is, next attack, we'll make sure to get rid of that rocket launcher. Because I think it is a bit tight. Um, and okay, now you're going for the HQ. I'm t All of a sudden I start talking about next attack and you're getting a little, little self-conscious there. Now you're going for the HQ? Come on. Let's go. Oh, are you? Yeah, you are. You... It looked a little off-center there. I thought maybe it was going for the other Simo on the left side of the HQ. Tis a shame that you were unable to do it. I'm not sure if you did focus the HQ, if you would have taken it out, but you are a Rainmaker, so you still do a lot of damage. 20 seconds in this attack remaining, and I am sad because I thought we were going to be able to take it out, that attack. I had everything calculated in my brain, and it did not work out. If we just saved the energy flares instead of spawning all those riflemen i think we beat it because then we could just keep them on the hq we're out of time we lost our two simos but we did catch another threshold you'll love to see it moving on to our this is this our fourth attack i think this is our fourth attack maybe it's our fifth let's hope we don't mess it up anyway we got our rainmakers down we're gonna flare them up the right side well, we take care of this rock launcher. We'll double barrage it and single artillery it. I got a feeling we're going to take it out. Down it goes. And now we should be good to take out this HQ. We're going to have to make sure to avoid that laser beam, though. Um, I'm not sure how many lasers it would take to take out Rainmaker, but it is just on the edge, I think. I didn't... Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't look at it, so I'm not positive, but that might be just in range, and that would be a shame. This is it looking? It, it could just be perspective, because the top side, it, it, it doesn't extend out as far just because of the, uh, the view perspective here. But why? Why did you step up that far? Oh, no. Um, so that Rainmaker might die right there. I don't, I don't know why they decided to spread out so much but we got it repositioned going for the simo that almost killed my rainmaker my lovely rainmaker but now we'll just uh we'll barrage artillery take it out so now the rainmaker is just going to focus on the hq expend the rest of our bart potential and down goes war factory with only one boat of rainmakers now we did get to to retrain it 
but we only used one per attack and we get that final threshold 670,000 stone could not mean less to me i guess we'll retrain the rain makers anyway thanks for making it to the end we'll see you guys in tomorrow's boom beach video bye bye